Today we are going to take a look at setting up your eBay account with Shipgear. I'll go ahead and click Shipgear Exchange. This is what you'll need to start every day prior to starting your shipping process. When you run Shipgear for the first time, the email notification wizard displays. Shipgear offers two ways to send out email notifications, eNotify and QuantumView Notify through WorldShip. eNotify allows you to send out personalized email notifications. For now, I'm going to select No. The message displays that no eBay seller exists. I'll click OK to get the process started. Shipgear utilizes the eBay token to access your transactions. A token is like a key just for your account, so Shipgear and eBay can communicate without using your username and password. So I'll go ahead and type in my eBay username here and then click on the Create Token link. The eBay sign-in page is automatically launched in my internet browser. I'll now log into eBay with my credentials so I can link Shipgear up with eBay. I'll click on the I agree button and now I'm ready to close out the browser window and go back into Shipgear to retrieve the token. Now that we're connected, my next step is to set preferences to optimize the shipping experience. Shipgear gives you flexibility to retrieve items directly or browse from a list. Retrieving directly does not require Shipgear to download a set of transactions. Shipgear will simply retrieve the records based on the item number or selling manager record number. I'll go ahead and select the item ID here. The other method to access your eBay transactions is browsing. When using this method, Shipgear will download a list of your eBay items based on a given date range. You'll be able to view the list and select which items to ship. You'll see settings for browsing, which will allow you to define when the download should occur. You can select on startup when Shipgear Exchange is first started, or on browse when the first time a question mark is entered into the WorldShip Keyed Import. If you are using the item ID or selling manager record number to import, the preferred setting here would be on Browse. In addition, you can define a date range and choose to download transactions based on the date sold or modified. To maximize efficiency, you should set this date to the shortest date range. For more information, please visit our website at shipgear.com.